Hi, and welcome to Rubles Rambles here at the Make Emily Center. So, I rambled about this uh, a long time ago, but I'm going to remind you that in August of this year, there is going to be the Great American Eclipse. It's a solar eclipse um, where the moon's shadow is going to go from off the coast of Oregon all the way across the continental United States, um, off into the Atlantic Ocean, off North Carolina. So, and there's a line where the moon's shadow will uh, go and block the sun uh, that goes from Oregon to North Carolina. And so if you, on August 21st, go to that line, you will get to see the eclipse. Uh, this is on track uh, to be the most observed astronomical event ever because it's going to have a huge amount of publicity and lots of people already live in or near the uh, center line. Um, so even though it's in August, as you can imagine, uh, stuff like plane tickets will get more expensive. And if you want to plan, so and like hotels could start getting booked. So if you want to go, you should probably start figuring it out now or else you'll be like, ah, oh, shucks. Why didn't I book my plane tickets way back when Ruble told me to? And you don't want to, you don't want to be saying that. Um, so a solar eclipse happens when the earth, moon, and sun line up so that uh, the moon casts its shadow onto earth, um, blocking the sun from a part of earth. Uh, lunar eclipses, when the earth puts its shadow on the moon, are visible from the entire night side of earth, anywhere you can see the moon, because the moon is just red. That's just, it's just red, the whole moon. No matter where you look at it from, it's red. But um, in the case of a solar eclipse, the moon's shadow only uh, hits a small part of the Earth's surface, and so you can't see it from the whole Earth. You have to be on the center. Um, there are a bunch of maps online for like cloud cover, average cloud cover along the route, and um, you also want some good highways. So if it's going to be cloudy where you are, you can drive along the center line to somewhere else where it won't be cloudy because it would really suck if it's cloudy. Um, Wyoming seems pretty good, but all everywhere. Uh, Nashville is the only, the biggest city that the center line goes through. So yeah, definitely, definitely go and see the eclipse. August 21st. You can find maps of the center line online and stuff. Plan your stuff. So yeah, go see it. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me in clear skies.